to your neighbor, turn to your neighbor. And ask her if you're not a winner, man. Ask her, what's that? Ask her, you guys. Aha, ask him again. Oh, winner, man. Oh, winner, man. Oh, winner, man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Oh, winner man. Somebody go begin for scream. Continue for make a dreadful noise unto the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make a dreadful noise unto the Lord. Come on, make a dreadful noise. Worship the Lord with the sound of your voice. I can hear you. Worship the Lord with the sound of your voice. Lift those voice. Lift those voice. Lift those voice. Lift those voice. Say, Father, we worship you. Jesus, you bless the name of the Lord. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. You worship the King of Kings. We worship your name. Bless the name of the Lord. This moment, connect yourself to the King of Kings. Say, Father, we thank you. We bless you. Tell him sweet words this moment. Lift us voice. Let heaven hear you. We praise you, God. Bless the name of the Lord this moment. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Somebody lift us voice. Lift us voice. Worship the King of Kings. No words for this song. No words for this song. You can worship God with your words. Worship the King of Glory. Father, we bless you. We lift your name of life. We worship you. There is none like you. We give you praise. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be praised. Just remember how far God will bring you. From January to now, God has been faithful. Not a day he has failed you. Child of God, lift those hands. It's a sign of surrender to Jesus. You are telling him, without you, I can't do it. With your hands lifted up, you are telling him, by myself, it, it won't work. You know, your father may not understand how far God has brought you. Your pastor may not understand how far the Lord has brought you. Even your parents may not understand how far the Lord has brought you. Only you understand how far God has brought you. A man may not understand how far you've brought me. A man may not understand. Understand how 
I've never seen any go. Oh, I've never seen. I've never seen any go. Like hey, I've never seen. I've never seen any go. Like there is no like you. I've never seen any go. Like you walked up on the sea. I've never seen hey, any go. Like you made a blind eyes to see. I've never seen any go. Yet you are here this moment. 
Oh, what a privilege. What a privilege to worship him. What a privilege to worship him. Child of God, continue to worship the King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised and worshipped. Amen. Please take your seats. Of course, today is the last day of this bondage breaker prayer time. And the Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. So in the same manner, I believe God has made us overcome us these past two days. Hallelujah! So, we want to hear The testimonies, but please, we want to limit these testimonies only within the bondage breaker period. We want limit the testimony here yeah, only from waiting God do day before yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> and if you want to give testimony, please go at the back at least and give some. Please go to Pastor Vandy Masakoy. Let us do some screening, please. Go at the back. Whilst people then they go at the back for the testimonies time, please we invite Sister Teresa Boima for the first testimony. Put your hands together as we welcome Sister Teresa Boima. Continue to clap. Continue to clap. Good evening, church. Yeah. I want to testify about God in goodness yesterday in our labor room. We've been getting delivery yesterday. We've been tedious. But I've been known say with God in your power, it is easy. So, ten reach for make the woman push, a push the baby, a calm the head talk, a try the woman say it don't tire. Now I say no, you not go tire. With Jesus, God go give strength. So, me hand clean be then I me hand because of the man of God where he pray yesterday and the power of God. The anointing of God upon their hand clean there, now take them, now lay them. As I lay them, now the woman in belly. Now I say, God manifest the power. Manifest the power. As I say, God manifest the power this night. Now in the baby come out. So I really thank God for that. That hand clap is too small. To so God be the glory. Hallelujah. Why is it the screen others? I want to give a testimony. Miss Sef Sef. The first day of the bondage breaker prayer time. And I always they use this as an opportunity for lift my family and me picking them. And on that very day, I'll be to call them names and leave them to Papa God. So just after that first day, in the morning, yesterday, I get a call from the guy there who said one of my daughter did. When I and Estina Halloween. Then the guy there tell me, say, he said, the picking them in go, success. You know, I'm beach BM to eat on. And where they go, the youth life and go for go celebrate somebody where they married and go load inside boats. And as the boat
boat they go, and the boat capsize. They all drop inside the water. So why is them they struggle? Say if he hits the rock, he say, but by God in own grace, all of them come out alive. Only two of them lost and them properties. Them. Now remember, say yeah, they find for stand at the gap. But that thing they happen to know they happen. God will cover you. You begin them. Hallelujah. And I give God the glory, the honor, and the praise for saving not only me picking, even the other one they already did there. Hallelujah. Give the opportunity to Mrs. Levy. Praise the Lord. I want for thank God. I mean, can I have with a specific prayer request? Now we seek to Mama Bon. We get to the eldest brother when I challenge now we own life. The one that we're very close to with family, no say, not to all say, we will all kindle together the woman that we're very happy because we get one way still need for be delivered. So me, when I left, when we hear about, when I hear about this, I tell God, say, I did go the normal for me, brother. And so the first day we begin the prayer. Yesterday, I see vividly in a me own hometown, before we, we host, we get a dry floor. Right in the middle of the dry floor, God sent me hiding. I see like, na de, God they direct me say, na yanda them plant to brother in problem. Na yanda them plant them. So why is we continue for prayer when I just see the safe, na you home wherever, I did not south, east and west. I see like this kind image come out from Musa the Siso. It begin, we got big, big river behind we, we houses in the village. It they work at the go, but as they go and so they see me, they tall, they tall, they tall. I'm not able to say the height, but it go right down to the river. I want to forgive God all the glory and honor and adoration. Thank you very much, Mrs. Amelebi. Now, Veronica Sandy. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for God in goodness behalf of me picking in life. You know, any time he begin get sick, I they worry because I know how much he is sick. Then days I'm picking get fever, three days, it not be easy. But I just trust God. I say I can go to hospital. But in the fourth day, you know, it not be easy. He go into serious headache. The picking the ally. He say, Mama, I don't know what thing they happen to me. I say go be well. He say, Mama, me head the heart. I say what thing happen. He be so torment that net to not sleep. But one thing I thank God, I get the olive oil. I tell God, I say, God, now you give me Lubanya. And to you, I the Anova give you Lubanya. Indeed, I want for be grateful today, a day with Lubanya. So I want for be grateful to God. Okay. The next one, uh, Grace Bangura. Grace Bangura. Put your hands together as we welcome Grace Bangura. Jesus, he is the bondage breaker. Somebody say, he is the bondage breaker. Hallelujah. Together. Louder than that. Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, I believe. Praise the Lord. That we bow our heads and thank God for the testimonies. Where we don't hear it, we don't say plenty, but not this, we hear it. 
Lord, seal them with the blood of Jesus. That waiting God don't do healing, breakthrough. It will be permanent. Father, we thank you, God. Because one thing we know that you, you are at work in the lives of your children. Lord, we give all glory and honor unto you for all that you have done for us. We cannot tell it all. We give you praise. We adore you, ancient of days. Lord, we seal these testimonies with the blood of Jesus. We pray that God, whatever you have done is permanent, never to be removed again. Thank you, Lord. Take every honor and glory for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Continue to put your hands together as we invite the Ecclesia, Ecclesia voices of the house of God in New Harvest. Amen. Say your neighbor, say indeed he's the bondage breaker. Indeed he's the bondage breaker. Hallelujah. Amen. Please can we have Matthew 14, 28 tonight, please. Hallelujah. Amen. The bondage breaker is here tonight. And bondages are broken already in Jesus' name. Matthew 14, 28. Praise the living God. Amen. The um, Bible says there was a certain time, the disciples in the boat, and the story changed. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if this is you, bid me to come unto thee on the water. Praise the living God. Now, Peter understood it is difficult to walk on water, but he saw Jesus and believed if this is Jesus we are serving, then the impossibility will happen. Praise the living God. I don't know who you came here to see tonight, but if it is Jesus that we are here to, to serve and glorify, I am too sure that bondages in my life are broken because he never fails. I have seen the blind see. I have seen the deaf hear. And so I'm too sure that my God will never fail. If you are here tonight, I say he never fails. Come on, the songwriter says, This is my story, it is my song, yeah. I'm praising my Savior all the day long. I never weary, I never fret. Because he, he never failed me, yeah. Lift up your voice, say he never, he never fails. Oh, he never fails, he never fails. Oh, he never, he never Come on, are you sure tonight? Oh, he never, he never fails. Because he never failed me. Oh, he never failed. Oh, he never failed. Oh, he never failed. I'm too short tonight. Oh, my God never, never failed. Because, listen. This is my story, and it's my song. I'm praising my Savior all that day long. Lift up your voice, eh? Oh, how long must you carry the troubles, the troubles on your mind? Oh, when God is with you all the time. Lift up your voice, eh? He never, oh, he never fell. Oh, he never Up your voice, say he never. He never oh, oh, he never. He never because he never fell yet. There is one promise that God has given unto me. In the psalmist, he said, even if your father and your mother forsake you, I'm still there. 
It means if even a thousand of army rises against you, I'm too sure for my miracle. And so I'm sure that my God is with me. The psalmist says, even though I walk through the valley and shadow of death, I fear no evil because I know he's with me tonight. Oh, with me always. He's with me always. I'm too sure he's with me always, 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 always. With me always. Oh, he's with me always. Oh, always. Come on. Oh, he's me always. Always, always with me. Can you say he's with me always? Oh, always. My God with me always. He's with me always. Can you stand and sing that tonight? Oh, he's me always. Can you stand tonight? He's me always. Oh, he's me always. With me always. He's with me always. Oh, with me always. Oh, he never, he never fails. Oh, he never fails. He never fails. Yeah. He oh. Never fails. oh, my God, never, never fails. He never fails. Because he never, he never, never, yet. Yet. Yeah. never, never failed me yet. I'm too short tonight. My God will not fail me at all. Hey, I am too sure that my miracle is on the way. Say amen tonight. I am too sure my breakthrough is coming right now. Ah, oh, Jesus is with me. I have my miracle package on the way tonight. I know Jesus is on the way because I know he never. Come on. Come on, sing tonight. Oh, my God, never fail. He never fail. tonight and just tell God God you can't fail me this time hold on tonight just lift your hands tonight you will not fail me this time God we lift our hands and worship you God Oh, we 
joy tonight and worship God tonight in this place. Oh, 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 oh. all of me at God, all of me at your my soul. I de worship you tonight. Uh. Yeah, I de. We worship you. Oh, we de worship you, God. We eat all of me at hey. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we de worship you, God. We eat all of me at voice tonight and let God be praised. Oh, we the worship you, God. We know our love we are. We the worship you, we God. We turn off we are. Everybody, 
Everybody standing up. Hallelujah. Amen. I want for let we do a war cry. We did do a war cry just like we warrior and they going at the field because tonight it's a warfare night in the name of Jesus. Tonight is a warfare night in the name of Jesus. So I want everyone from do a war cry tonight. You know, they do a war cry tonight like where the warrior then they go. We are shouting victory. 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 Breakthrough. You are shouting like somebody. We're ready for go fight in the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Ready? After three counts. One, two, three. Victory. your seats in Jesus name Hallelujah Lord take a 
Bibles tonight and go to Psalm 185. Psalm 185. Psalm 118, sorry, verse 5. Psalm 118, verse 5. Psalm 118, verse 5. Psalm 118, verse 5. Psalm 118, verse 5 say, I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Let me all read them together after two count. One, two. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Now get the NIV and see what the NIV say. Before we go to the next reading. The NIV. After two counts, one, two. In my anguish, I cried out to the Lord. And he answered by setting me free. One more time. In my anguish, I cried out to the Lord. And he answered by setting me free. Amen. Let's go to the book of Luke. Let's take the next reading. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 4. Verse 40 and verse 41. Let's read together after two come one, two. Now, when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Verse 41. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. Praise the Lord. Let's read in the NIV. Let's have the NIV, please. Luke chapter 4. To get out of two can one, two. And the sun was setting. The people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sicknesses. And laying his hands on each one, he healed them. Verse 41. Moreover, demons came out of many people, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them. I will not allow them to speak, because they knew he was the Christ. Hallelujah. Tonight, you are going to cry out to God. We are going to wait in. Cry out to God. One of the first things that a baby they do, when the baby is giving birth to, the baby cries out. Hallelujah. You know, many people, when the baby not cry out, it will worry them. I don't know what's the connection between the baby crying out and the baby being healthy. But I also believe that the reason why the baby not cry out, a lot of people, they get worried because they feel that the baby not healthy or the baby is not going to live long. Crying associated with health, crying associated with joy, cry associated with anxiety and something where they are alive. And so even a baby, who that teaches the baby for cry? But the moment the baby come out, one of the things where everybody look for, if I tradition of bad people and they pinch them, cry, 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 cry. Some give it knack and not so knack it like make why? Make cry, cry, cry. Why cry and not say laugh, 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 laugh? Why cry? Hallelujah. Because I want to tell you, people with the cry, cry that is a sign of a desperate situation. Now, a sign of a desperate situation, crying also can mean, you know, when somebody gets an anxiety too happy, he can cry. Well, we don't know why the baby not cry, they cry. But me, one for taken from this point. The baby is happy, but it's also desperate. Hallelujah. Because I don't think an enclosed place for about nine months, ten months, they happy for calm. But the baby also desperate for able to lay hand on in destiny for be who that God meant for me. Hallelujah. And so the baby, they cry out. I'm speaking to somebody here tonight. Your cry is going to be your, your anxiety, but cry is also going to be your, your cry for desperation. 
you know you are happy that you are here you are happy that you have Jesus but you are crying out because you are desperate because you are saying to that devil you are saying to that old demon I am not going to walk out of this place uh, the same that I came in I'm going to walk out free and I'm going to tell the devil you devil you have no hold over me because I'm going to cry out to my Lord somebody say I'm going to cry out Tonight with a reflect on the subject, cry out to the Lord. Cry out what in? To the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. If you're here tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cry out to the Lord. Now you find out, say, the Bible tell we that the verse, the Bible say that then begin for cry out in the distress, as that the psalmist say, and the Lord began for answer them. But the Bible make them very clear to us in Luke. The Bible say, they begin for when it don't heal them all, they begin for call the name of Jesus and they rebuke them because the demon they be not saying that Jesus. They be not saying the king of kings, the man where they cast them out there around. And so therefore they rebuke them because all the demons they know them. I want to say tonight, your demons mess around with you, but your demons know Jesus. I say your problems mess around with you, but they know Jesus. Then stronghold and they mess around with you, but they know Jesus. That is why tonight, in the name of Jesus, it no matter who said they don't carry go and wait in the intent, we are going to cry out to Jesus tonight. And I want to tell you, every demon, every stronghold, it is shake and left you tonight. Some of you might even convulse in the process. Some of you might cry. Some of you might fall down. Something might happen supernatural. But one thing is sure, it no matter what it happen, you are not living this place the same you came. Because there's an elevation on top of you. There's a new place in your life. There's a deliverance coming for you. I say, somebody shout, I am set free tonight. Let me quickly go back to the world. In Psalm 118, verse 5, the psalmist said, In my anguish, in waiting, my anguish, in my pain, in my distress. Hallelujah. This psalmist will go through distress, it will go through pain. So not so you one don't begin go through distress. Not so you one don't begin go through pain. Some people when they are going through distress and pain, they direct their energy and they cry out to something else. Hallelujah. When they go through distress, not at the time some man they first shot cut for run to pal mommy. When some people they go through distress, that at the time when some man they go to the man of the world. Some people when they are going through distress, at the time that they go get alcohol and begin for drink alcohol. Yesterday, you know, when I left here, I go back now home. One of the ways I can just calm myself down, I can just sit down, stretch my leg, and, and just tune any of the. So I've been watch one of them movie there for about 10, 15 minutes because I need and I'm away for deal with, for calm myself down. And here was this man, they give this young man advice. He said, Drink alcohol because he said, When I was in problem, now this I take for solving my problem. But how many people know say alcohol don't solve the problem? Hallelujah. So some people when they have pain, when they're in anguish, they run to something else. They depend on something else. They rely on something else when they are in anguish, when they are in distress. But this psalmist is wise. He said, in my anguish, what did he do? I cried to the Lord. When the distress don't mount, he said, I cry. He not say, I laugh to the Lord. He said, I cry. You know, I demonstrate to God that I mean business. I demonstrate to God in prayer that I'm serious. I demonstrate to God in prayer that enough is enough. I demonstrate to God in prayer that I've been in this place too long. It's time for me to move up. I demonstrate to God in prayer. In my crying out, I said to God, I have to walk in victory. And the psalmist said, and he answered me. And he went in, answered me. I want to put that word there because, you know, as he, he answered me. Everyone, the psalmist said, when I cry out to God, God answer me. When the baby cries out, parents, they answer to him cry. I must be somebody here. Because the baby cannot talk, the baby cries out. When the baby hungry, he cry out. When the baby they feel inconvenient, he cry out. And when he cry, what did they happen? The parents will run to the baby. And you know, in the distress, the psalmist said, I cried out. I cried out. 
somebody, I don't know the level of your distress tonight. But one thing I know, whatever distress that came through this world, will never leave this place the way you came. Whatever distress that came through this world, came through this door, so this place tonight, I am believing God with you. You are walking out of this place, uh, broken, relieved with freedom. And the psalmist say, he answered me by, how did he answer? By waiting, setting me free. That means this psalmist was in bondage. The psalmist will get some bondage, Amen. If you get some bondage, you will affect them. If you get some issues, then what they go through? And therefore, the psalmist wanted freedom. And God answered him by setting him free. Hallelujah. How many of us want freedom tonight? I say, how many of us want freedom tonight? I say, how many of us want freedom tonight? Hallelujah. You see, brothers and sisters, freedom is so sweet. Freedom is so important. Too long we have been in bondage. Too long we have been in ignorance. Too long the devil has been lying for us. Too long our societies have been hiding for us. Too long the secret society have been saying they are in charge. Too long the witchcraft you know, they say they are in charge. Too long that man and that turn they, they, they take like a god. They, they get all the good chicken and all the good goats. And you are there. You not get chicken for eating. They go get Too long I want to tell you. The people of darkness have been parading. But I'm here to tell you. There is a name bigger than any other name. There is a name mightier than any other name. There is a name. The Bible says at that name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. Somebody shout I believe I believe I believe. Believe. I believe. Hallelujah. The Lord will set you free tonight. The Lord will set you free from mental, mental blindness. Some people they are blind mentally. The Lord will set you free from mental crippledness. Some man are in mind and crippled. Are you getting a point clear? He completely crippled. The Lord will set you free tonight in the name of Jesus. From every stronghold, God will set you free tonight. If we go to Luke, the Bible says in Luke, as we connect Luke, in Luke chapter 4, can we go to Luke please? The Bible says in the gospel of St. Luke 4, it says when the sun was setting, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness and laying his hands on each one, he healed them. They bring all kind of sickness to Jesus. All kind of, kind of bondages. Ma'am, I'm telling you there are bondages upon bondages. And there are levels of bondages. Some people are at a higher level of bondage. I guess it's point clear. Others are at the lower level. But there are some people at the middle level of bondage. They brought all kind of bondage to Jesus. And the Bible said Jesus laid his hand on them. He laid his hand on them and he healed every bondage. That is why I'm speaking to somebody here. I don't know your level of bondage. I don't know your layer of bondage. But one thing I know, the son of man is in this place today. I said the son of man is in this place today. Jesus is here tonight and he will heal every sickness and every bondage in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says now, yeah, anytime they put grammar, they put more over, that means something more will be left behind, we will not talk. Hallelujah. Moreover, that means sin be left, we will not be talk. Now that last verse. Now we want to talk now. You get the point clear. So apart from the disease and the sickness, then, moreover, what happened? Demons came out of many people. What did they do? Shouting. So you see, your demons can speak. <laughs> your strongholds have life. Your strongholds have what is life. Your strongholds get manipulation inside them. If they can speak, I want to tell you. Then see when they put pamine pan, then they put oil pan. Then they do that thing, and they they can speak. I get the point clear. They can speak. You know, one brother, a few months ago. They come to me. The reason is, as I said, me, you, me own method God give me for, whether give me prophecy or me revelation, they're very different. I don't want to embarrass anybody. So this brother, 
You know, I just call her aside. I said, brother, the Lord said you get some two you hold on to. And this is a strong thing. And you need to give up. Because the time is too short if you don't give up. We said, tell him he paused for some time. And they said, but the kind of house, I want to talk to you. I said, okay, no problem. So he can't house wife in. He can't. And then he bring this stone. We don't hold on all in life. He said, this stone, and they give me money. This stone, he begin name all the things that the stone they do. He said, but as I don't get money, but book money. When, once I begin to do what in the stone they say, all the money they done back. I pull the stone. The stone so the glitter. Now I pass with them before me host. And we'll find some way for cross the stone first. Then I put an oil pan up. What done done? I gather all the dust. I put it inside that septic toilet where I get inside there. And I know in the brother and I pray for him. I want for that. I have to tell you. He said, don't begin. He said, this stone, that you know they go throw it, the stone, the stone, it come back in the middle of the house. But from that day, we'll finish that stone. It not go back to it again. The reason is them not throw them, they throw them in a river, throw them on the other side them. But then place they all not get power. And so the stone will come back. But when the stone recognizes that Jesus, now it don't break in power. That stone not able for come again to run. That be the last time for the stone. I want to announce to somebody today. That night husband, that night wife, that night dreaming, that night set back. Tonight Jesus is here and Jesus will break every bondage. I am speaking to somebody here. You will never be associated with that demon in the family. You will never be as associated Amen. with that sickness in that family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen to me before we can pray. I want to get you fed to the point where you will be meet up so they can pray. Look. You know, one of the things you won't understand. Whether I with Mao or Black I'm telling you. We get things that they follow we in with lineage. We get things that they follow we in. We the follow in our lineage. And I want to open your eye tonight. Go back if you after I don't talk this one, go back and do your assignment. If you come on a lineage, who say, Papa, be polygamous. A bomb of And then, your Papa gets a history of divorce. I want to tell you, 10 chances to one. One of now, two of now, the face up. It will flow through the lineage. If you come on a family, who say, Set back. You begin to check your generation. You see, set back, set back, set back, set back, set back, set back, set back. Set back. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Now, so it go true. There are things that repeat themselves, even unconsciously in the family. Praise the Lord. It repeats itself consciously. There is a demonic hold to that. And so, so that stronghold need to be broken in the name of Jesus. The father cannot die early. Your big brother died the same young. And you don't even look at that. Uncle then die young. You all don't begin to see the tear whether you are a believer. You, you even don't take note of that one day. I want to tell you, if you don't take note of it, you are, by the time you realize, it don't knock you down. I take my time and I sit down and I follow me, Papa, in genealogy. Remember my genealogy. I take my time to follow them. And the thing that we are discover, and I write everything down. And I spent time before God. I said, God is going to stop with me. He's going to stop with my own generation. He's going to stop in the name of Jesus. And every day I begin to renounce and renounce and renounce him. I did renounce him. I renounce him. I did renounce him. I did that for months. Until I feel inside me say, it is done. Then I stop. You see, many times, the Bible said, What tower they play with? Then they can go. I'm speaking to you tonight. I'll talk to you tonight. If there's something you need to cry about, cry about it. Hallelujah. If there's something you need to cry about, what in? Cry about them. The demon shouted, and Jesus shut down the demons. So tonight, few things I want you to learn as they go. 
in your distress. Every one of we gets some moments of distress. Amen. Don't go to the man of the world. What you will do? Cry out. If you cry out, the Lord will wait and answer you. And he will set you free. Amen. Just a way set the other people you are free. What is in your life tonight that the Lord never set you free from? What is that strong goal that the Lord never set you free from? You know exactly which are the talk. I want to tell you, it should stop with you in the name of Jesus. I say it should stop with you in the name of Jesus. One of the things that we are learning, I will take every name of every member and I'm a family. Take the name of every one of them, pick them. And I want to tell you, day in and day out, that they cry to God before them. Call the name loud to God. Call the name loud to God. Ask God for intervention. Ask God because there are things that are beyond a medical doctor. There are things that are beyond every human intervention. Now only God intervention will save them. I challenge you tonight. You are going to cry out to God. I say cry out to God. If you cry out to God, your Lord will answer you. And it will set you free. If you believe that, stand on your feet tonight. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence. Savior, Savior. I have confidence in you. Anytime, any day, I have confidence in you. Say, my Lord and my God. My, my Lord, Lord and my God. God. 